Well, boys, uh, the lamella, Reich. Reich made this knife. And I'm going to start off with it this far apart because uh, this far disassembled in this state as opposed to the complete assembled piece uh, because it is really fidgety taking this off. And so this is not an integral, even though when you have this on, it looks like an integral, but it is not. And of course, you can see here, you have these little pieces here and they go over and then it slides all down and then this goes over the end here. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because when I put this cover on it, I'm leaving the damn cover on it. Lamella. Okay, 2022. Got this Atlanta Blade Show. Um, what I didn't realize is that these, uh, the few units that Ian at Caddo USA slash Reich um, had were not uh, full production units. Uh, and therefore, the hardware was not hardened. Okay, and there's not much hardware here. There's just the pivot screws. And then, of course, where, where's the, okay, here's the little, in here, if you look in here, there's the screw that goes into the pocket clip. And then, of course, you have some screws, as you can see back here, because we have a liner, okay? And, of course, that would be a steel liner, I would assume. Yes. And uh, because you've got titanium, and so you want a steel uh, lock bar. Okay, so uh, let me kick this open. Okay, and you got about a 35% lockup, 25% at least. Okay, and on the top, I'm not seeing anything other than it looks like it's weight relieved up in here. Okay, in this top area. Now you've got a spring and a slide piece there. And uh, hold on, let me get this. I had taken this spring out before, uh, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, and there's a piece here that slides, okay? And this piece here can slide in or out, okay? And it's got a spring. So you're compressing that spring as you're sliding this in. When you slide this in, what it does is it slides far enough forward to where it clears this back. And then you can pop the back up and then push it forward and slide it out of this. Okay. And so it just comes up and off. Um... The spring, uh, you know, the problem is I pulled the spring out and then kind of bent it a little bit, but I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, there is, there are no screws here. Okay. So this whole back area is not screwed together, but what keeps it together is this. And of course, it looks like it's making enough contact. It does. It keeps this firmly together. Now, the problem with taking it apart any further, which should be easy, right, is the fact that if you look closely here, that's all woggled out, and so is the other side. And the problem is that it was done before I got it. So, this was in assembly, obviously, or if somebody else had disassembled to test it out or see how it kind of functioned because this was a piece at the booth and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know who all had their hands on it and, you know, tried to disassemble and or whatever. But over time, it got to where this as a number eight, you know, um, first of all, this screw, this depth is not very deep. And second of all, it's already uh, a mess. So I contacted Ian and he goes, oh yeah, when the pr full production units come out, just send it back and I'll exchange it, you know. But okay, so then I get to play with it until then. Uh, or he said, I can send you, you know, 
factory hardened hardware because this hardware was not, we didn't have time or they didn't have time to harden it uh, prior to assembly. They were in a hurry, Atlanta Blade Show, all that. Okay, I get it. So, no, I'm going to send the whole unit back because I can't even take these out anyhow. But, okay. So it is what it is. It's got a crown spine. It's M390. It's titanium. It's interesting. It's unique. It's a pretty decent sized knife. And of course, this doesn't make it look pretty when you got it like this. I, I get that. Um, but I just wanted to show you how this is. And if you look at this sliding piece, I mean, it is on a piece here that uh, is operates with that spring so you can release it it pops back so it 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 engages the back of this and keeps this from being able to be popped up just inadvertently okay but you can see that it's not embedded in here there's no milled little slot in for this to run okay just for this okay this piece here which it engages with that spring. So that's what that's all about. This is not an integral, if I didn't say that twice already. So you got these little spacers here. But when that, when this comes down, it's going to keep it all together. Okay, so, and it's centered, and there's no blade play or anything, so it functions fine. It's just the pivot is messed up and so I can't pop it apart and that's unacceptable of course but that's not a problem because I'll just pop it back to him and whenever they come out with the full production stuff then you know I'll just exchange it okay so here's where we clip these little babies in and then we're going to slip this back on and once we do we're done so I hope you guys are ready here it goes um right back into here let me see if i gotta i might have to do this to get everything cleared back through here hold on i've only done this a couple times oh there we go okay and okay so apparently that is down under there and it's all locked in place now a much smoother look and I don't have any scuffs or snail trails on here and of course I guess you're gonna have some underneath on that frame because this makes this makes contact okay this holds the knife together um, you can kick it open with your middle finger does it have a decent drop yeah just like that like that yeah um and of course you got a flipper tab just like this and it's very uh it's very small it's a small muted flipper tab i mean i think reich makes a great knife and they're imaginative and they do all kinds of uh crazy designs but then they do some very sensible stuff too so oop, there we go it's pretty quick over the detent ball and it just drops. Now, how big a knife is this? Well, there's your blade. A little under four. Uh, almost a four inch cutting edge. 3.8 inch cutting edge. Big old choil there. I mean, depends on where you want to measure it to the bolster. Is it 100 millimeters? Is it 105? What do you want? Um, nine inches overall okay at 20 what was that 22 and a half centimeters yeah 22 and a half centimeters um and 0.57 so that's a pretty good little handful at 14.6 millimeters and 3.7 millimeter blade thickness at 0.14 so I mean, it, it's it's a crazy design. It's pretty cool. Hold on. Let me wipe the blade down a little bit for everybody who's going to get creeped out like, Ugh. I hate it too when there's smudges all over the blade. But it's just the way it is. Okay. 
So that's a real seamless look. And I guess that's what they were going for. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. So I kicked this back into place. I had it... Uh, I didn't have it all the way back. Sorry about that. So you could, I mean, you know, if you leave it there, then you can pop that thing back off. Uh, but, okay, now I slid it down. I, I was wondering if I had that all the way slid back into place where it's making contact. Now it is. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So, blade stock's pretty thick. Crown spine, jumping up here. Uh, looks like the blade stop well there's the blade stop but it's let's see is that really stopping it i guess maybe these are not the stops they they almost look like they're making contact but then again when the knife closes there's nothing making contact and you know it's it's this here coming up on that stop so i guess that's the stop both ways um, you know, it's centered, no lock rock, no blade play. Um, it's solid. Uh, it's interesting how there's really nothing holding this thing together other than this outer casing that makes full contact and kicks right on down here. So that is, uh, that's a unique way of doing a design, I think, you know, but, uh, Ergo's. Uh, I don't know what to say about ergos other than if you go up into that choil like this, okay, I mean, that's better for me than if I come back here. I feel like I'm so far behind that blade, although there's first finger, the rest of them are okay, except this is a little short now, and this is not that comfortable on this end. But if I, if I roll up here, that's way more comfortable. Let me see what reverse grip feels like. That's okay um, because I'm going to move this finger all the way out here. Okay. So, yeah, that'll work. Where's my... Oh, there's my balance point. Easy to find. Quick over the detent ball. Really nice drop. And you know what? I don't know. I kept thinking he was saying around three and a half for this knife. So to me, that does not seem uh, overly uh, expensive. Here's the zipper pouch, by the way. And uh, let me see if I got anything. Okay, what else have I got in here? Nothing. Okay. And then here's this. Okay. Sticker and uh, microfiber. Okay. So we got all those and the plastic. Uh, okay. It wasn't sealed in there. And then a zipper pouch. So, okay. We're good. Nothing overly done. And there was not a box like there was with my Cyber Tricks, which is interesting. There's my cyber tricks. And of course, this has got the Reich emblem on it, but this is actually not manufactured by Reich. Although I was told that Reich has done the blade treatment for these knives, but not the overall manufacturing. And of course, this is a crazy looking knife. And there's a model A and B. And this one is the A, as you can see there. And the A... Okay, you've got a blade here. On the A, this primary grind is longer than the secondary. On the B, the primary grind is much shorter. It's flipped. It's like this length here and then the longer length on the secondary. So whichever you prefer. Uh, I wasn't really that particular. I, I kind of liked this better. Although it does look upside down, doesn't it? I mean... It, it just looks crazy. But this is an interesting design. I mean, I like the design. I like the fact that it's very stealth looking. There's no hardware. And you could look at my review on this because I do do a disassembly. So you can see how 
this whole thing, you know, pops up and this comes off and, you know, uh, you know, you can take everything open then and you can take it apart. Okay. So, but I mean, like this, it looks way cool, but it came in a box. Really interesting. Cybertrix A. Okay. This is model A. Very interesting knife. I think it's fascinating. Of course, then, I mean, both the Cybertrix Trix and the Lamella have a thing in common, which is the backspacer, whether it's a cover or whether, whether it's an insert like this, they pop up, they come off, and then it exposes how you can disassemble a knife. So that's the key to that. I wonder if they're going to do this with some other models. I mean, they had the Reich Thule knife, which was a combination of G10 and uh, carbon fiber. And uh, it was a, a true integral, okay, which I thought was way cool. And then, of course, Reich has done, oh my God, you know, a, a lot of integral knives, okay? You just name it, you know, a billion of them, probably... Uh, six, seven, eight different integrals that they've done. So, I mean, they're really expert. And of course, then they did the ADV Andre de Villiers Scavenger, which is a beautiful knife. And then of course, Reich has done the Microtech Socom Bravo uh, and uh, on and on. So, I mean, uh, no question, but what they're at the apex of... Uh, complicated manufacturing and really imaginative design now let's throw this it is cool it is way cool it, um let's weigh it up i mean it's not a lightweight easy super super easy carry but uh 144 grams yeah five ounces okay yeah it's five ounces so it is that. And so it's not super lightweight, but it's super way cool. Uh, got this uh, nice fuller in there. So you can kick that open real easy. Reverse flick, whatever. You can use your thumb. You can flick it open that way. Like I said, quick over the detent. Nice. I'm sure this is probably not for everybody. Uh, you know, it's just a different kind of design, that's for sure. So a little bit, uh, maybe on the fantasy knife, uh, if you want to call it Mall Ninja, whatever. But of course, Reich, uh, you know, this is the kind of Mall Ninja I love. M390 titanium, really beautifully machined. Uh, so very functional. It's the Reich Lamella. Let's take a look at it again, rotisserize it around. Pretty cool. Nice. Very smooth, very smooth drop. Beautifully done. All right, boys, thank you so much for joining me. You know we do, we love them nice, so you guys stay sharp.